welcome to the update. I'm Heidi Tiltons. Australians are being praised for coming forward for a COVID jab with 307,000 people rolling up their sleeves for a vaccine yesterday. Health Minister Greg Hunt says Tuesday's figure was up 15% from the same time last week. Six and a half million vaccinations over 30 days. That is the population of Melbourne and Adelaide and Townsville together. More than 100 army troops have arrived in Queensland to help reinforce the border closure with New South Wales after the state recorded 919 local COVID cases, another all-time record for the outbreak. 45 people have been diagnosed in Victoria, all but nine are being linked to known clusters. There's concern many Aussie students have lost motivation due to extended school closures. Latest NAPLAN results show COVID hasn't significantly impacted learning outcomes with literacy and numeracy results on par with pre-pandemic levels. But Education Minister Alan Tudge is worried about the emotional toll. There will be kids who have completely disengaged because they haven't had that daily contact with the school. They haven't had the teachers face-to-face to be able to encourage them and keep them connected with their friends. Infectious disease experts are optimistic Australia will be in a much better position by Christmas. The country is on track to have 70 to 80% of people fully vaccinated by the end of the year. Another 955 Australian citizens and Afghan visa holders have been evacuated from Kabul overnight from five flights. More than 2,600 people have been pulled out of the country since last week. The Melbourne Porsche driver who filmed instead of helping four dying police officers after a freeway crash has walked free from jail after more than a year behind bars. And it seems millions of us are spending lockdown shopping online. Demand for parcel deliveries is at levels normally seen at Christmas, prompting Australia Post to launch a recruitment blitz. In sport, the head of the AFL has confirmed Perth has been locked in to host the grand final if the MCG can't. CEO Gillan McLaughlin admits the AFL is still in talks with the Victorian government. If we're unable to play the MCG, the grand final will be at Optus Stadium. Our priority clearly will be the health and safety of the Western Australian community. We work through the quarantine facilities and restrictions for our playing groups and it will be an amazing venue in the event the MCG is unavailable. Australia has picked up two gold medals at the velodrome on the first day of the Tokyo Paralympics. Paige Greco and Emily Petrocola have won the C3 and C4 3000 metre individual pursuit. And the owners of champion Mare Winks have announced she's visiting Piero for this year's breeding season. In entertainment news, Kanye West is doing a ditty and changing his name to Ye. The rapper has asked his lawyer to file papers for a legal name change for personal reasons. Mick Jagger and Keith Richards have paid tribute to their late drummer Charlie Watts by posting photos of the rocker online and online trolls have forced five seconds of summer star Luke Hemmings into therapy. The pop star has taken a step back from social media after struggling to cope with mean comments from critics. And that's the latest from the Nova Podcast News team but we'll see you tomorrow morning for another episode of The Update.